Avidya, an essential subject from Vinaypedia Vidya translates to knowledge, and the opposite of Vidya is Avidya which means no knowledge or also, nescience. In the spiritual context, when one is in Avidya, he is covered by the material, illusory, energy and thus, has no transcendental knowledge. This is clearly stated by Lord R.K. in the Bhagavad Gita. The Kaitraja is the living entity who knows his field of activities, and the living entities in the material world are forgetful of their eternal relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This forgetfulness is called avidya or nescience. Therefore, in order to move upwards, from avidya to vidya, one has to perform pure devotional service in Krishna consciousness under the guidance of a genuine guru. Srila Prabhupada's books, lectures, conversations and letters offer a comprehensive presentation of this essential subject as seen in the Vani Coates Avidya category. An introduction from his books is given below in the following eight quotes. Quotes from Srila Prabhupada's books according to the VU per A. The material energy is called Avdi or Nessence and is exhibited in the fruit of activities of sense enjoyment. But although the living being has the tendency to be illusioned and trapped by the material energy for sense enjoyment, he belongs to the anti-material energy or spiritual energy. Easy journey to other planets. Chapter 2. The path of religion is actually meant for self-realization, and economic development is required just to maintain the body in a sound, healthy condition. A man should lead a healthy life with a sound mind just to realize vidi, true knowledge, which is the aim of human life. This life is not meant for working like an ass or for culturing avdi for sense gratification. Sri Isaupaniad, Mantra 11, the holy name, character, pastimes and activities of K are all transcendentally sweet like sugar candy. Although the tongue of one afflicted by the jaundice of avdi, ignorance, cannot taste anything sweet, it is wonderful that simply by carefully chanting these sweet names every day, a natural relish awakens within his tongue, and his disease is gradually destroyed at the root. Nectar of Instruction, Text 7, The only function of the living being is to render service to the Lord. The Lord is great, and living beings are subordinate to Him. Therefore, the duty of the living being is just to serve Him only. Unfortunately the illusioned living beings, out of misunderstanding only, become servants of the senses by material desire. This desire is called Avdi, or Nessence. Our Mad B.H. Gavadam 1.8 35. The Lord has a potency called Avdi, the illusory energy, which induces the false argor to think himself perfect and which induces the illusory energy to bewilder the conditioned soul. That supreme Brahman, the super soul, is very affectionate to his devotees. To bestow mercy upon them, he discloses his form, name, attributes and qualities to be worshipped within this material world. Our Mad B.H. Gavadam 6.4 Summary A patient must regain his health before he can truly enjoy sense pleasure again. Thus the aim of human life should not be to enjoy perverted sense enjoyment but to cure the material disease. Aggravation of the material disease is no sign of knowledge, but a sign of avdi, ignorance. Sri Isaupani ad Mantra 11 The potent can exhibit many potencies, but the potency cannot equal the potent at any stage. One potency may be overcome by another potency, but to the potent, all potencies are under control. The Jaiva potency, or the Kaitra Akti of the Lord, has the tendency to be overpowered by the external potency, Avdi Karma Sajay, and in this way he is placed in the awkward circumstances of material existence. Our Mad B.H. Gavadam 3.7 5. The path of avdi, or advancement of material knowledge for sense gratification, is the path of repeated birth and death. As he exists spiritually, the living entity has no birth or death. Birth and death apply to the outward covering of the spirit soul, the body. Death is compared to the taking off and birth to the putting on of outward garments. Foolish human beings who are grossly absorbed in the culture of Avdi, Nessence, do not mind this cruel process. Sri Isaupani ad Mantra 11.